Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Thursday, the 17th day of September 2020. Our Seeds of Destiny today is titled, Locating Specific Daily Instructions. You know we've been talking about daily shadows and what to do in the morning. The Bible says the heavens declare the glory and the firmament showed his handwork. Day unto day, uttereth speech, and night unto night showed knowledge. Psalm 19, verse 1 to 2. Thought for the day. Existence without instruction is existence without transformation. An existence without revelation is existence without revolution. Now, we have clearly defined and established the fact that wisdom is essential for daily living. To live well, you must live wisely. To live without regrets in life, you must live wisely. To live productively, you must locate wisdom for daily living. Now, another wisdom tip for daily living is being on the lookout for specific directions and instructions for the day. Our anchor scripture makes it clear that every day comes with specific instructions. Every day has something to say. From Psalms 19, 1 to 2, we see that day unto day uttereth speech. This means that every day is saying something to us. There is a speech of the day. There is a knowledge of the night. Isaiah chapter 50 verse 4. Many people keep on missing the instructions for the day. They hear nothing for the day. And existence without instruction is existence without transformation. Existence without revelation is existence without revolution. It is knowledge that brings elevation. Galatians chapter 2 verse 2, each day comes with specific instructions. To access divine instruction, you open your Bible and you read and you do that with desperation. When you ask God, Lord, what are you saying to me today from this scripture? He will definitely speak to you from his word. Some time ago, we, uh, my husband was reading the scriptures and saw something from the scripture that revolutionized his life and destiny uh, permanently. He had read the Bible from Genesis to Revelations many times, and particularly that Bible verse several times before then. But he had never seen what he saw that day until he saw it. Now, let me share with you what he saw and what he has shared in his write-up. The scripture is Deuteronomy chapter 9, verse 5 to 6, which says, Not for thy righteousness or for the uprightness of thine heart dost thou go to possess their land, but for the wickedness of those nations, the Lord your God doth drive them out from before you, and that he may perform the word which the Lord swore unto thy fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Now, understand therefore that the Lord thy God driveth thee not for not for this not for you to possess this good land because of your righteousness, but because of the stiff nakedness of the other people. So when when the senior pastor asked the Lord to speak for to him from that scripture, the first thing God said to him is first the way I discarded the other nation before I gave their land to you. I can equally discard you and give the same land to other people if you are found wanting. Hmm. Secondly, if I have given you my place in life, it is possible that someone else should have been in that place. Any place he has given you, it is possible that somebody else should have been in that place but missed it and failed. Thirdly, you are not necessarily perfect. So everything I am doing with you is not because of you. It's not about you. It's about me, God. Powerful. Isn't that amazing? 
Meaning that humility is not a choice, it is compulsory. When you read your Bible and ask God what he's saying, he will speak to you. You can hear God's voice from the scriptures, from someone's behavior, and from scenarios and situations around you. So look out for specific instructions and directions for the day. They will give you acceleration in life. Remember this, that existence without instruction is existence without transformation. And existence without revelation is existence without revolution. Praise the Lord. What's our assignment today? Number one, ask God for specific instructions daily. Number two, discern God's instructions from daily events and situations. And number three, make up your mind to obey divine instructions all the time. Awesome God. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Say after me, oh Lord, I ask for the sensitivity to discern your instructions daily. Help me not to miss your direction, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. I'm excited. I believe the Lord has heard that prayer. I'd like to pray for you. you want to be born again? Simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please you, O Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Congratulations. But before I go, I'd like to wish somebody a happy birthday. Today, the 17th of September, is your birthday. What a mighty God we serve. It's another new year you're stepping into. Congratulations. I declare today the help of God upon your life, the blessings of God upon your life, the help of God be released and unleashed on you. See greater days. See greater height. Increase on every side. Happy birthday to you in Jesus' name. God bless you. a place of revival. It is a place of His presence. It is a place to receive God's own principles. It is a place of His growth. It's to